Hello, my name is Ikel O'Hara and this is the Future Fiction Factory. Today's tutorial is going to go back to the future. That's right, we are messing around with the Storycraft template. I went over a video that we did a while ago and I realized that there was an opportunity to show you what actually happens when you spin up a Storycraft template. Not only do you get style and all of the information for how many books you want and all of that stuff, but you also get the opportunity to like flesh your story out. So I wanted to use OpenAI's Playground, but then I came across this new product uh, called Open Router. I will be doing a much more formal video on Open Router as its own standalone product. But what I really am excited about is the possibility of taking the Storycraft template and putting it in anybody's system instructions and uh, anybody's playground inside of Open Router and kind of spinning up a whole thing. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not going to show you that much about Open Router because that's going to be its own tutorial. But today we are going to definitely use the Storycraft template to spin up some stuff inside of Open Router. Let's hop right in. As you can see, this is my Storycraft template. I'm able to take it and create, spin up whole yarns that are as many books and however, you know. So here, let me give you an example. Here's a galactic stalemate. And with this galactic stalemate, you've got military science fiction uh, with lots and lots of extra genre information. You have uh, a opportunity for bracketed uh, instructions for the actual large language model. And you even have the ability to take any of these and put them into other things and spin up even larger yarns. So we're gonna take this example, the Galactic Stalemate, and we're going to copy. And then we're going to, this is about the report that it gives you afterwards. So the Storycraft template is built to give you a report. Then you can take that actual report and you can put parts of it in things like pseudo write or novel AI and create weird spots inside of your story that that cause intrigue and page turning and all of that stuff. We are taking this right here and we're going to drop this in playground and not just anybody's playground but inside of open routers playground okay so i'm going to zoom out this was something i was working on inside of the actual i was working on a during my live stream, I was working on a story and showing people about something called free writing, another video that's actually already out and it will be linked right here. All right. And uh, lots of information and so on and so forth. But what we are doing is we're going to go to the playground. We're going to take all of this information and going to never saves your chats in the cloud your chat will will be locally stored in your browser click to disable chat storage what i wanted to do was take all of this information and drop it copy all of the information and i will sort this out in a file at a later time it says it'll be working with just one model and we're going to add a couple of models again we are going to go over this at a later time i am going to use this one let's go with uh, claude version two then we're going to add one more character we're going to add hermes because i likes me hermes i likes the way it writes and we're going to add that one 
now we're going to take the Storycraft template and we're going to use it kind of in a very unusual way. I'm going to go right here, deliver a series. Yep, I'm gonna take the whole thing and I'm going to drop it into my system information for for this okay and actually let's uh let's just see if it let's see if it will work first and see what happens with there there it's sitting inside of the memory and now it's rendering out all of that information okay now all i have to do is go over here and change out the token amount since it was only 300 tokens and I could have a much more comprehensive report. We'll put it up to about 3,000 tokens. We're gonna turn the temperature up just a little over one, and that will in turn make it a little more creative and give it a little more room to write. As you can see down here, it only dropped 300 tokens, and that's how many it was set at at the beginning. Now that I've got that one spun up, I'm going to take the same system information and I'm going to drop it into Claude 2 right here. I'm going to drop it into Hermes. And I am going to actually mess around with Claude's temperature because Claude has a tendency to be a little too creative actually it being bumped down like that that probably will work out and we're going to take the tokens up to not 25 but more like something comparable we'll go like 8,000 tokens chat memory and we'll keep it all like that now i'm gonna say it again and actually this time i'm gonna turn off the other one and then we can have a nice comparison of these language models and how they render out the different things inside of the templates report. Okay, now let's see what happens when I do that. I turn that one off, that one on, and that one on. And then, oh, and Hermes needs its tokens adjusted. I don't it might actually fail that high, but that's okay. And I'm gonna say, right. And see what the other two language models get me. And then you have it spin out from two different Here's a suggested intense and intellectual sim, uh, stimulating military science fiction series exploring the themes of an impending planetary conquest, world ethics, and technical race without cliche. And, so, and it creates an entire plot line, all of the books, everything. And then you can take each one of those books and spin those out too. It's, oh, look at that. Anara, An Anora, <laughs> like my uh, Anara from my series. And this one is only 18 characters. A series treatment report for a stalemate that meets the provided criteria. Whoo, okay. That didn't happen at all, but it did do some pretty cool things right here. Now you see right here that this is a pretty cool little tool as you've explored the Storycraft template and used it inside of PseudoWrite. You've probably thought to yourself, boy, I wonder what else happens if I use it inside of anything else. And now with the help of OpenRouter, you can test it out. My name's Ikello Hare. See you soon.